more capable than ever of causing our own extinction. There are nearly 15,000 nuclear bombs out there, and if one goes, they all go, and then we all go, <laughs> you know? But new weapons of mass destruction, bioweapons, and engineered viruses all dramatically increase our destructive power. So you could be thinking, hey, well, it only took 200 million years for us to evolve from the first mammals, and we still have a few billion years left until the sun burns out. So theoretically, as long as some mammals survive, the Earth should have some advanced species in 200 million years, one that discovers science, creates art, and builds civilization. Well, that's where that argument doesn't really hold out, and where the first Fermi paradox comes in. If evolution was that easy, with the millions of rocky habitable zone planets in our galaxy, our universe should be packed with alien life, but we see none of them. Which makes us believe that there was something about our evolutionary history that was exceptionally unlikely, and we have no idea what it was. And while the Earth itself is full of life, we are the only species that is unusually intelligent, hyper-cooperative, culturally evolving, and capable of speech and language. So if the odds of that happening was like one in one billion, trillion, whatever, there might not be any other intelligent life forms out in the universe, and there might never be. There might be, but is it a risk that we're willing to take?